Minister of Foreign and Caricom Affairs Dr. Amy Brown and Guyana's Minister of Foreign and International Cooperation Hugh Todd signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Renewed and Enhanced Cooperation between the two countries in Guyana on Sunday. Among other things, the MOU will address non-tariff barriers, the flow of goods and services between the two countries, and collaboration between the two Caricom states on issues of energy and education. Kimberly D'Souza tells us more. A high-level bilateral commission, inclusive of public and private sector representatives, will be established to oversee the implementation of a Memorandum of Understanding between Trinidad and Tobago and Guyana. Both countries have agreed to work together in the areas of trade and investment, agriculture and food security, energy, infrastructure, education, sports and culture. Non-tariff barriers to the flow of goods and services between both countries will also be addressed. Speaking at the signing of the MOU, President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali, said discussions with Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley were very focused and led to a number of opportunities, particularly for the agricultural sector. Developing a model, a framework, through which the entire agri-food system, agri-food business system, will evolve into a mainstream economic and social activity back, backed importantly by political will and inclusive of the private sector participation. In this instance, Dr. Ali confirmed that the private sector referred to those belonging to the farming community. Prime Minister Dr. Rowley agreed, adding that private sectors must refocus its investment in food supply production. He said CARICOM must look at its own production system, from production to distribution, in order to separate from the international food supply cycle. Is to go and look at what CARICOM can and must do within CARICOM to disentangle ourselves from the tenuous world food supply. That will get more troublesome and put our shoulder to the wheel within CARICOM to our own production systems, changing our supply models and our business models to put ourselves in food supply situations that will not be impeded, destroyed, or obstructed by other people elsewhere in the world. In response to a question about Trinidad and Tobago's involvement in Guyana's energy sector, Dr. Ali confirmed that TNT will be participating deeply, but did not share further details. We are taking the long look, the broad look, not only short, immediate business opportunity look. And I want to leave it there because this is an evolving conversation in terms of energy. Dr. Ali said he and Dr. Rowley will maintain a dynamic relationship with the Commission, adding that the CARICOM community will begin to see the work of the Commission within three months. Kimberly D'Souza, TDT News.